Hey folks, today we have another computer video as you can see. I got something interesting on eBay for about 50 bucks and that is this late 2007 MacBook. Uh, I was just sort of window shopping and happened to see this and I thought, hmm, 50 bucks, let's take a look at it. And it was sort of a sold as is thing. Uh, and so I took a gamble and I thought 50 bucks for one of these in working condition other than a white hard drive. Let's check it out. So, let's take a look at this. I, I know I had a MacBook before in another video. That was a MacBook with a Core Duo. It was a MacBook 1, 1. This is a much newer one with a Core 2 Duo, so it's infinitely more useful. As you can see, we have the MagSafe power connector. We have Ethernet. Um, I think that's Mini DVI. I can't quite remember. Pretty sure it is, though. Firewire, USB, two USB. You have a line in port here and your headphone port there and a Kensington lock. And of course on the other side you have a DVD drive. On the back you have your two speakers. And on the bottom <clears throat> you have a battery. Now the battery in this machine is completely stone dead, like it doesn't even get recognized by the computer. It's just dead. It's dead, son. It's dead. So, I have to plug it in. I also got the full power adapter with this thing, with the long cord and everything, which is nice. So let's plug it in and take a look at it. Now, there'll be something you'll notice when I open this machine. For being a 2007 MacBook, it is in really good shape. If you look at the bottom here, the plastic isn't broken on the palm rest like you usually see on both sides. The trackpad doesn't look, really look that worn. I mean, it's it's a little bit worn. It was clearly used a, a, a little bit, but not that much. Um, the keyboard isn't beat up and dirty. It has a little bit of it has some pencil marks on it, but that's really it. I can get those off with an eraser. But as you can see, the plastics are just in phenomenal shape. It's like the machine was barely used. You know, that was my first thought, and I turned out to be right about that. I booted up a USB stick of uh, Linux on this machine to check out the hard drive, Smart Data, and uh, what do I find? The hard drive power on time was two months and ten days. This machine was bought used a little bit and then put away <laughs> it's crazy I, 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 this is the score of a lifetime 50 bucks 50 bucks man for a machine that wasn't used that much that's pretty sweet uh, and that's good for me because I was looking to replace what I that other Mac I had it was a Mac mini with something um, you know much cheaper so I could uh, make some money for Christmas and uh, this fit the bill perfectly. I couldn't be happier. The only flaw it seems seem to ha seems to have is that uh, I think I don't know if it has corrosion or not, but I know the RAM did. As you can see, well, maybe not. The RAM I pulled out of this machine is a little oxidized. Not a whole lot, but it's a little oxidized. I put, this is a one gig kit of RAM here, I stuck four gigs in this now. I stuck some new RAM in there and, you know, the new RAM still works. So, I'm guessing that the sockets did not get damaged. It also had an 80 gig hard drive in it, which is pitiful for today by today's standards. So I pulled that out and stuck a 320 gig in there, which is plenty. And I'm dual booting it with 10.6 Snow Leopard and Windows XP. So, there you go. It's a pretty good machine for what it is. So let's take a look at it. Now, MacBooks are, are you know, they're, they're a pretty common computer. They're one of the few machines that Apple made out of plastic in more recent times. And I kind of like, I kind of like that in a way. The plastic breaks really easily. Apple's plastic is not great. But, you know, it's unique, and I kind of like it. I think the, uh, 
I think the aluminum bodies are much better because they're more durable. But at the same time, plastic machines have their charm. You know, I, I like metal better, but, you know, it's something unique for Apple. There you go. There's a machine here. I got a bunch of software on here. DOSBox, ScumVM, of course, TeamSpeak, Telegram still works. I had to get an old version of FileZilla for it. I have Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, of course. Image Capture, VLC, iMovie HD, of course. Gotta have that. GarageBand, Transmission, G-Edit from Linux. Grab, which is for screen stuff. Activity Monitor, which is like a system monitor, and, of course, the terminal. Disk Utility, System Preferences. There you go. A lot of these programs I took from my use of Linux and stuck them on here, like Transmission I use on Linux and Gedit I use on Linux. Well, I actually use Pluma, but Gedit's basically the same program. I mean, if, for those of you who are Linux users, you'll recognize it. It's Gedit! Hooray! There you go. There you go. It's OS 10. Now I can use this to open up Keynote and make a presentation. <laughs> now, this this is the era when Mac was still doing really well. When they first did the Intel switch, the machines were awesome. But sort of towards 2010 or 11, I think is when the machines started to take a turn for the worse. I'd say right around the time that Steve Jobs passed away was when uh, was when it started to go downhill. Now Apple has become a lot more of a luxury brand than they ever were before. This was back when it was still a computer, like a viable computer to buy, a useful, productive, practical machine. It's becoming less and less so. You, as, as you heard earlier, I was able to service this MacBook. I could take out the hard drive, I could put new RAM in it, you know, do all, do all that stuff. On the newer Macs, not so much. So this is sort of a golden era for the Intel Mac. Uh, this was back when they were just as good as any other machine. So let's do about this Mac to show you what's in it. It's a 2 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. Now the funny part about um, this machine is it is the exact same... It is pretty much the exact same machine as my ThinkPad T61. It has a T7300 Core 2 Duo in it. And it has Intel X3100 graphics. It is basically the same machine as my T61, which is pretty cool. It's a machine I'm familiar with. And there's your graphics. It's Intel GMA X3100. 144 megs of uh, VRAM, which is an unusual size. Serial ATA. I put a 320 gig Western Digital in there. It originally had a uh, 80 gig Seagate. Unfortunately, it looks like it only runs at um, SATA 1 speeds, but that's okay. I don't mind that too much. It's still a fast computer anyway. But there you go. That's the Mac side of things. It's in beautiful shape. The machine runs great, too. No bad keys. No bad USB ports. No corroded USB ports. The only issue was that RAM over there that was a little bit oxidized. I hope that doesn't take the machine with it eventually, but I, I have a feeling it probably won't. I'm, I'm confident in this machine. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to do this manually. Now I'll show you the Windows XP side of things after I'm done with this. But yeah, basically I, I wanted, another, I wanted uh, to sell one Mac that was worth a lot more and buy a cheaper Mac, and this was a hell of a deal on a cheaper Mac. So I can still use the programs I want, like the iWork09 and iLife06 and stuff like that for the specialized Mac stuff I use. And I don't use anything really that current on Mac. I like the older software better. So it's kind of good to have a time capsule like this lying around. So we'll reboot, and I'll show you the Windows XP portion of the drive. Now, some of you might remember that the, Mac, the MacBooks and MacBook Pros back in the day were voted some of the best Windows Vista machines, ironically. They ran Vista better than any other machine. I had a dual-core desktop at the time that ran Vista worse than uh, my MacBook Pro, which is a, of a similar vintage as this. 
the MacBook Pro ran it a lot better, which is funny. I used to run XP on that when I first got it, which is why I'm sort of time-capsuling this as a OS X XP era machine. And it runs XP extremely well. I gave it 80 gigs of space, which is what the old hard drive was, so it's like having a whole other hard drive. It's a great machine. I like these MacBooks. When they're in good condition, they're very nice machines. When they're worn out, they're... Eh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you guys remember the video where I swapped the screen on one a while back. Uh, when they're beat up, they're not... They're, they're just not the most pleasant machines in the world. Luckily, this one was very well taken care of because it wasn't used that much. And as you can see, seems to work pretty well. I gave it the Royale Noir theme, which actually doesn't look too bad on a white laptop like this. And there you go. I can do all the Windows XP stuff I need to do on this computer now. So it's so this computer's a bit a bit of a time capsule, in a way. But the and the main reason I got it was because my other Macs are mostly IDE. This one is SATA, thankfully. So. I could stick an SSD in here if the hard drive dies and still have my time capsule whereas my I Mac Mini G4 and my iBook G4 both don't have that option well I guess they do in a roundabout way but the SATA SSDs are much better so it's just better to use it, use them on a machine like this uh, it's a little bit um, a little bit better for my needs I think so there you go that is the white MacBook that I scored off of eBay for about 50 bucks with barely any hours on it. So this replaces a Mac Mini I had before, a 2010 Mac Mini that I didn't get much use out of. I think having this, I think having it in a laptop form is much more useful to me, uh, especially because it's easy to change the hard drive in it, unlike the 2010 Mac Minis. It's a nightmare to change the hard drive in those. And I was thinking about getting a, an older Mac Mini, but this turned out to be cheaper. So this is what I ended up with, and I'm very pleased with it. So, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.